writer, cause you're crazy. You left a Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. You left Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. What's wrong with you? That's of the house of bread, comma, praise, comma. All you needed, come on. I was doing a blog on it, but I never got to finish it. So, uh, but cut him in a high hill. All you needed, I said, then I the found, I read Ruth and I went back and said, okay, I said, okay. I went back to the beginning and said, who then is responsible for the famine? Obviously because she went out full and came back empty. The famine was not there. It was inside of them, right? Because they, it's what's in front of your eyes. Let's just say, right? Because you go out full and you come back empty. But that's because you left uh, the house of bread, comma, praise, comma. And it does not say that you ask God, should I, I please, I, Oh, when the jack and uh, uh, run they on me, you just got up and uh, left that place. Uh, this is a uh, famine in the land. But who the land did the famine exist in? Uh, the Bible says uh, they were in Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. That's a picture of where they uh, with the 5,000, more than 5,000, where they came into a deserted place. Uh, she said, come, let us go to a deserted place. Place is Mark chapter 5. We ain't got there yet. So come, let us go to a deserted place by the time you get to the end of that thing. Come on, my kid, I'm in the high. See, you are leaving where you are right before you get to the end of that thing. You don't see what God is going to do because you leave where you are before you get to the end of that thing. When you get to the end of it, you will see the deserted has now become the green back that got to the Baba Kadima sit the people on and then uh, and no gospel disagrees with it everybody said it was green grass everybody said it was green but i'm not kind of gonna hide and i don't know about you but, uh, the scientists want to uh, disprove everything but we think that blah, 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 nonsense nonsense blah 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 stupid stupid stupid, stupid. who cares who cares who cares i can just keep going right but, but who cares what you think but uh, there's a blah blah bible says green grass uh, so it was white green a lime green yellow green turquoise green purple green go- uh, orange green 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 Green, 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 green. Well, I don't care what color. I could have got green. I don't care what color green it was. So, blah, blah. Says so, like me street grass green. But I don't care what kind of green it was. So, it could have been a green from uh green. Back so we had no grass um so, in North Jersey. What am I talking about? They don't got a grass. Yeah, but I don't got that. I don't got that. But like the fake grass green that we had on um, NJC campus and the grass on NJC campus literally looked like somebody cut it like out of paper. It looked like it was square. Some of it was square. It looked like confetti, like tinsel. It looked like. Like tinsel that you put on, like that furry tinsel that you put on your tree, that you put green, that you put green on it. It looked like that's what the grass made of. It was the first time I saw grass, so I'm okay with it. But back to those that, uh, are confused about it. Green, green, the green, 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 green. Imagine me getting right in your face, nose to nose, and just screaming at you. You have nothing to disprove. I do not approve of your disproving. You don't study show yourself approved as a god. I am not looking for your approval. Ah, ba 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 This has already been approved. It's the stamp of God's Holy Spirit's approval. He said, I aspire this thing. Ah, ba ba I aspire to inspire this thing. Ah, ba ba The bye. I just give my sister to write her face to scream. When she asks a stupid question, I will look like the Bible says, because the Bible says it. If you have a reigning authority, we had no father. So we had to have some reigning authority. But you go outside looking for everything else. So when she asked me, tell me what you think about the Bible, I would get right in her face and scream just like that. She deserves it. Don't ask me. Because you know I'm going to come with a scripture. Don't ask me. The Bible says it's so easy to trust in Jesus. Just to take him man at his word. Just to rest upon him. I think it say just to know the saith the Lord. That doesn't make sense to me, though. Okay. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. Come here, Samantha. The bar. How I prove you more and more. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus, my, my precious. If I'm the only one saved in my house when I'm a kid, and I fight off everybody in my house, and keep and, and encourage them at the same time, I fight them off. But keep them, but at the same time, don't let them infiltrate my brain. Cause very easy for me to doubt. But I'm the only one that believes. 
my precious Jesus. Oh, for grace. Oh, oh, for grace. Oh, for grace. Oh, oh, for grace. Oh, for grace. Oh, oh, for grace. This back up a song. Oh, for grace. Oh, oh, for grace. Jesus, Jesus. The boss. It's a great song. Try it. <laughs> Try that song right there. Sing that song. The boss. I'm telling you, you will irritate yourself so much that you believe. I believe, okay, I believe you will you frustrate yourself. I was trying to get them out of my face. But at the same time, the boss. <laughs> the older sister and the younger sister, they have me trapped. They have me trapped. I had them trapped. Jesus, Jesus. My precious. You're trying to watch TV, you're trying to watch the, well, the, who's in, like, Joey McIntyre, I think. I remember talking about them, right? And then they're trying to watch him in her room. And I would be in the other room singing him. Like, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Oh. He's from Lois. Shut up, you can't sing. I'm thinking myself, she right. Just to take him. You think that stopped me? She would beat me, some don't stop me. And I was, okay. <laughs> His word, she take the hymn from me. Aha, I got something memorized. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. So she give the hymn back. You got the back. Because I'll, I'll start singing about first and born. You don't want that. That's whack. You don't want that problem. The bye. <laughs> I'm crazy. Still I am. I was just, I'm, honestly, I would, I would ask, they're probably Bible thumpers. I threatened to thump people here in the head with the Bible. I beat people with the Bible. I punch people in the face over the Bible. I'm just be honest, let's confess it. I punch people in the face over Jesus. Not over Jesus, over the Bible. The Bible. I, I was crazy. I was dedicated. <laughs> I, was, I was a disciple. I was a disciple. <laughs> I was a disciple that needs to be in diapers. I was a disciple. That's what I was. Discount it, uh, stop, disciple. Discount it, something. I'll mess up. The Bible. How are you witnessing for Jesus Christ with methods of the enemy? <laughs> you think, excuse me, Jamie. You are messenger for Jesus Christ with the method being the enemy. You are beating people over the. You can't do that. That's what they me at my church. But I didn't, I didn't listen. The Bible. You won't believe. And if you didn't believe, you were fighting. I was angry. And what most people don't understand now, they look at me and say, well, you can't know the word, you can't know what you know. You're right, I can't. I don't. Scripture just comes to me and I just say it. I just, I just regurgitate it out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So, but I was angry. I had nothing. And so my whole only security was the Bible that I carried with me. Use your words! So I use them. And I use my words to beat people when they upset me. Use your words! Use your words! You said fight in the parking lot, Smith Memorial Church of Christ. About what you say? Okay, I'll see you in the parking lot. Where the choir stand? Let me get up in here. Uh, God has given me a new direction. That was a marching in song. We had a marching in song. How stupid. But anyway, you sit down, and if you, I'm in white and black, they in white and black, cousin in white and black. What you saying? Okay, I'll see you in the parking lot. Three o'clock, so that's the time church got out. So, <laughs> it was like school. The Bible. So I get here now, and I'm learning about this grace, this grace pandemic that uh, swept in and uh, overflowed and overtook and killed this violent, epidemic that I had. One more time. I'm learning about this great pandemic, right, that is uh, killing and swelling and overflowing and kicking <laughs> to death this violent epidemic that I had going on. I no longer need violence. 
it's a share the word of God with you. I, I said I gotta be valid. That's why I got an uh, uh, armor on. At least that makes sense. So, I mean, some people will tell you some things, and I just, uh, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. But I don't. Some people. Some people. We, we learned. We learned. And I, when I was, uh, my pastor was teaching it yesterday. And of course, I know the scripture. Everybody knows the scripture in the midst of the sea, right? Everybody knows that in the midst of the sea scripture. So we're studying Mark chapter four, thirty-five to 40, 41, right? We're studying. So I got two Bibles because I want to read both of them while he was talking, which is it's really hard. So I'm, I got both of the, of the Bibles. So I'm gonna just keep watching the um the, the replays of YouTube until I kind of get all the notes that I want. And I remember what he was saying, but he, I mean, he killed it yesterday and killed me at the same time. Anyway, um, anyway. Um, but, 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 the end of it, and I told my Andrea, I was so mad. Because I didn't talk to, right, when Jesus, when they woke Jesus up and he said, oh, ye of little faith, I've always been taught that, but because of the fact that they had little faith only pertained, the reason that they had little faith only pertained to the fact that they should have been further along and doing what they were asking him to do, right? Here's the thing, let's go to Peter, when he was up. Thinking and drowning in the water And he was uh, trying to walk on the water And was doing okay until he heard I believe the disciples were saying And he got bambi legs Bambi legs He was a fisherman A professional fisherman Him and his brother And their family had a busy nest They were busy about the nest Of uh, being in a fish They were busy nest They were on fisher uh, Fisherman business With the nets too They had a, they had a busy nest And busy nets Right And then he gets out on the water And he gets bambi legs I think that's young. Oh Lord, save me. That's how it sounds. That's how it sounds. I drove Sophia and Jonathan crazy because I would watch the cartoon over and over again. I loved it on YouTube. That's how he sounds on cartoon. Oh Lord, save me. Just like that, right? Oh Lord, save me. With that inflection, with that inflection right there. And Jesus standing on the water. You were the, you said, if they do you, bid me to come. Uh. Just like that. Uh. He said, bid me to come. And then he said, come, Peter. Right? So Peter jumps out the boat and he starts to, he has, like, he's walking first. And I think he heard him. But the faith comes by hearing, but so does doubt. He strikes you out. Like, faith comes by hearing, and so does doubt. So does doubt. I told people, I told people that all the time. If faith comes by hearing, so does doubt. Faith and doubt run on the same track. It's a train, like train track. So my faith came on, came on, and I came from me hearing the word, right? Because remember, when you want to build, when you build like a not Peter messed up the boat, but Peter was always the one, right, to, to lean back, listen to what he's saying, and get it right. He wouldn't say anything, but he got it right. Remember Matthew 16? He got it right. And because of that, he got keys to the kingdom, because he had it right. He could hear heaven, right? So he heard heaven and said, so he said to uh, Jesus, if it be you, bid me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, if it be you, bid me. John's on the other side of the boat, something, If he had not called out to him, he was going to keep walking, he was going to keep walking, just like that. He, uh, Peter said, if it be you, bid me, bid on me, right? Y'all know y'all do that. Like, Pope God, like, he said, right, feel bit me, bid on me, right? Uh, don't go bored, either don't go bored, bored is poor, don't go bored, you got to go a little bit higher than that. I'd rather you go nil or check this out. If you really want to believe, if you really believe in me, go double blind nil, right? You're going to be down like 500 points, so go double blind Blind nail. You know how many PC points you get for that? You get 202 points. Just one double blind nail, but don't ask me. Don't don't ask me what you gotta do to get it. You got all the points, but don't ask me what you gotta do. He said, the you bid me, Jesus bid it for me, so he got out and started walking like that. I'm telling you, double blind nail, if you are playing stage, the reason why double blind nail is so epic is because of the fact that you could be playing with somebody, right? And you don't have no idea about the stage skills, or they could just be having a bad stage day. You don't know that, right? So you play a stage with them, and you're, you're, you're partners with people that you um, cannot see, right? And all they have and all they know about you is what you are bidding. That, that's how they can tell what you, what's in your hand about what you did. And board is for. But double blind nail, nail means you have been losing. God, I'm not, I'm not, I, I was gonna say nothing about it, but God said talk about it. Double blind nail means you have been losing. Nail means I'm going zero, and I, could, I, I love doing nails because I can do nil and have saved my hand. I just, I, I've always done nil. I go straight way to do nil because you get automatically get 100 points, and the person, the other person bids uh, four, and then you get 140 points as opposed to us both of us bidding four, and you know, and I got a crappy hand bidding four, and, and we only get 80 points. And maybe some bags on the side. We don't want that. But then you don't want to be, want to be a part of the house of bags. You don't want that problem. 
Double Bond Nails says we have been having trouble communicating or trouble seeing. I just can't tell by what you are bidding what you have in your hand. Either that or the two people sitting right now, partners next to us playing right against us, us and them, us and them. You never sit next to your partner. So the two people sitting um, next to us and they, right, they must just have better communication. So Double Blind Nil says you play your hand to make four, I play my hand to make nils. You got to be able to trust me though. And here's the thing, you are looking at me trusting that I will bid the right thing, right? So uh, we are under, what, to at least, uh, you got to be under at least 100 points. That, us being under at least 100 points says you don't, somebody here don't know how to bid. Or you have been bidding according to your hands, but not considering everybody else's hands. So that's basically mean you don't know how to bid. You can't trust me. That's what I'm saying. If you got to, if you're losing, if you're losing space, I don't care if you won the last game, but by 5,000 points, if you lose right now, you can't trust me. So when you're playing double blind nil, and another person, if the other person bids four, that means they're scraping. They're, they're going to do four just because they have to, which means that I, I, I love double blind nil. I have to play right to force right cards out of the pe people's hands, right uh, to make them clash or whatever. Make cards out of people's hands so that way my partner will win. I have to watch where he starts, where how he starts his hand. Because if he starts with an ace in any suit, I know that's his strong hand for that moment. I'm only, not only playing double by nil for myself, but I'm playing nil, right? To, and I have to make my nil, I have to stay under, I have to force the other people to beat me. Their job is to make me go under, or make me get a book. Their job is to make me get a book. If we get, if he gets three and I get one, we have made the four, but we have lost the nil, the double by nil portion of it, so we are automatically at negative 60. That's a lot of information. To know how to play spades. That's a lot of information to know the hands of spades. To know the game. So I'm telling you, he walked out on that water. And he walked, he started to walk past them. And, uh, he reminds me of somebody. Because instead of, instead of, instead of Peter, I'm not so mad at, um, um, John. But instead of, uh, instead of Peter, right, to complaining like John did, Peter jumped up and said, yeah, we've been out here. Yeah, we're frustrated. Yeah, we're angry. Because I don't think that's what John meant. I think John was really frustrated. Because they came out there earlier. The Jews had preached a sermon. And he said, okay, I'm going to send the people home. And then we'll go pray. You guys, go meet me on the other side. Now, get in a boat and meet me on the other side. Now, here's the thing. They never asked, how's Jesus going to get to the other side? In all of my understanding about the Bible, I've never seen Jesus get in a boat. And I was, well, I'm a rubber ducky, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bad time, lots of fun, we're goggle yours. Or, i never seen Jesus in a boat like, forever. Roll, roll, roll your boat, the deck, and down the street. And the Holy Spirit coming in there with the, uh, the off key. Roll, roll, roll your boat, roll, roll, roll your boat. Jet, they doing rounds. Jet, they down the stream. Jet, they down the stream. No, 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 so I will meet you on the other side. Jesus, I will meet you on the other side. I mean, I've got my day and my kind of a high according to the power that works in me. I'm gonna meet you on the other side. He was going to pray to get some power. That just tells me about kind of a side. I'm like a power. I'm going to man that's got all power and authority and he gives it unto me. God, I'm coming in He's got the power. According to the power that works in me, for I know the God that I'm that is exceedingly abundantly above all the I can ask, think, hope, or imagine. And no, I didn't get it wrong. I take the able out of it. I don't want able inside of it. He is able based on, I still take it out again. He is able based on how I see God. That's what the able is. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above. But God is all powerful. He's all knowing. He's ever making what. Let's be let's, let's be this again. Elohim, Adonai, El, 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 El Shaddai, Yahweh, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Rafi, Jehovah, Nisi, my heart's going Yes, uh, Jehovah Mekadesh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Sid, Kid, New. Hallelujah. Maybe Jesus borrowed him because it got the canoe at the end of the thing. So maybe he borrowed his canoe. Sid, Kid, New. I don't know. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Jehovah Roha, Jehovah Shalom, Shama. The God that's more than enough. So I doubt that he borrowed Sid, Kid, New. And I doubt that he did that. But I do believe that he's planning on hitchhiking across the water the whole time. Ba -ba. He stood and never came back. It took him longer to come and it took him longer to do what he had to do because they could not get themselves together. Ba -ba. 
I'm telling you, I believe that they were going off in all directions. They were a picture of the church that were off in all directions, right? But then when Jesus came and he started, walked up to the boat, they came together in, in, in disbelief of the fact that that was Jesus. They said, that's just the apparition. John said, if I, I, I see him, that it's not an apparition, I understand it's Jesus. But if, and if we had not called out to him, he would not have even seen us. Peter forgot about that. He said, Lord, if it be you bid me, bid me, bid me, bid me, bid on me. But after we're down and out, that's made the point of the double blind nil. You gotta be down at least a hundred points to a double blind nil, right? Most people go blind nil, and then when they go blind nil, right? They lose a hundred points if they don't make it. I'm my mistake. If you lose if you lose double blind nil, you lose two hundred and two points too. Most people, oh my gosh, will go blind nil. They will not go double blind nil. If you can ever go double blind nil, you look crazy. Because you have not been able to get yourself together before then. They have been rowing all that time. Jesus took the crowd away, they were rowing. Jesus went to pray, they were rowing. Jesus came to the shore, they were rowing. Jesus stood to the watch, they were rowing. Jesus got himself a Timex watch from the, from the, from the pop watch person next to the shore. No, he didn't do that. But it says he was watching them for a watch. So I thought that was really cool. He's watching for a watch. He's watching them for a watch. That's at least three hours he watched them for. They were rowing. And then and he, he walked out on the shore, they were rowing. Right? And he would walk out because they were they were at a point in the middle. They were in the middle sea. So they could they, they were not to super far out, but they were not close to the edge, which means he had to walk to them after the three hour period. And they were still rowing. And they were rowing. And they were rowing. They could not get themselves together. You got four fishermen and uh, eight, plus eight men on the boat, and these men are not stupid. You got accountants on that boat. They were not stupid. The people, on, the people in the stores and the Caiaphas, the Caiaphases and all of them, they thought that they were stupid. But these men were not stupid. Jesus gets to the boat and John's about, if he had not called out to him, he would not have seen us. You know it's coming from a place of hurt and of that upset to, and we've been uh, uh, rowing, rowing all day long, rowing, rowing. The sun uh, went down, we were rowing, rowing, we've been rowing, rowing. We are down and out and so John said I'm, I'm not doing this game anymore. I, I'm, I understand John. I'm not playing this game anymore. Peter just said if it be you bid me, I understand Peter. If it be you bid me, I give him my last, right? If it be you bid me, bid double blind mill on me. And it's blind because of the fact that and I never made this point clear. The reason why I say blind mill and double blind mill because you have to say it before the person starts the book up. The deal the first part. Before the deal the deal the first part, you have to say it. Which means I'm I'm bidding double blind nil and I don't care what anybody says about it. And after the cards have been dealt and I look at my cards, I can't jump up and say, wait, can my partner do it? I've said double blind nil, so I have to do it. It doesn't matter I can have a handful of spades. I'm bidding double blind nil. And that's the type of faith I need. Jeez, I'm bidding double blind nil on you. God how about I you have Peter Santa? Did on me, if it be you, what Jesus did on me, Jesus, I'm saying, since it is, since it is you, there's no if in my mind, there's no if I think, if I want, or if I feel, if, 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 if. some of y'all got too many if, if creates anxiety. What if an if creates anxiety? If 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 he see it, if he got a hair, if he some, if he got no hair, if no hair up his nose, if he um actually grow his nose and the allergy sees it and he has boogers, if he come on, if 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 those shoes fit, if the if 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 come on, come on, come on, if how about this? Y'all got any comments this, y'all would say sick. Y'all been on the boat all day, y'all should've said sick. Y'all been talking about y'all seen him do the miracles before, right? You should've said sick. Alright. But even the, the fact that they did not say sense and they said if tells me they ain't got no good they ain't got no good sense. No one said this. Jamie, Jamie's not back like you ain't got good sense. You ain't you ain't got good sense. Okay, grandma. And I'll continue to do what I'm doing, obviously. I'm Jamie. I'm very disobedient. <laughs> I just am. I'm not very disobedient. I'm very. Okay, grandma. That's your answer, no matter what. Okay, grandma. Right? That's Pastor David. Jamie, come here. Okay, grandma. I'm telling you, that's your answer. Jess, call me. Hey, Jamie. Okay, grandma. <laughs> that's your answer for everything. Okay. Beware of the okayers. Woo. Patient, Jamie. Invitation? Get less worse! 
criticism of Ingram. I'm like person. I get so tired of trying. I, I get aggravated and I put everything down. So I stop talking and I'm like, you will see a a a, a, a agreeable a face on my face, but it's fake. I am not your F O E F O, but I have become your F O F A U X F O, and it looks like I am following when I'm not even listening. Okay, the mark. Jesus walked. He walked up to the boat, and John said, "If it's, if, it's, if he had not called out to him, he would not seen us." Now I don't understand that because they never called out to him according to the Bible. What they did was, they assumed it was an apparition. It's almost like the, the, the story where he was on, a, that we read yesterday, he's on the boat, he's sleeping on a bag of peanuts, or, uh, I thought, that's what I said it was in my phone, I don't know. Bag of peanuts, bag of nuts, bag of planters with the peanut man on the monocle, and he, he talks to the Monopoly guy, and the Monopoly guy shares the planters, um, um, uh, logo with him. Sometimes the Monopoly guy is someone, he says, he smiles because he got a big round head, so, you know, he, they, they share, they talk about it sometimes. He's laying on something. And he was using it as a cushion. Okay, Grandma. He's laying on it. He's using it as a cushion. They screamed out to him, Lord. Let's be honest. The, the Bible says one disciple. Actually, the book, one of the books says one disciple. And when you kind of count it out, it, it, it filters out the Andrew. It filters out to Andrew, but when you count it out and when you look at the, the setup of the disciples and what they were doing, it filters out to him. Now, am I sure it was him? No, but I kind of just got that inference, right? So it's, uh, if Andrew went down, uh, Karis thou not that we perish, so it's King James, obviously, because I learned in King James. Karis thou not that we perish. Basically, don't you care that we die in Jesus? Don't you care that we die in? We die in Jesus. We, we, we are dying. We're dying right here on the boat with you. You lay down here with the cushion. We're here. We're here. Right now, we're here. <laughs> And they were, but uh, they were there, they were there, they were right there, right? Waiting for Jesus, uh, right? To, looking for Jesus, but nobody wanted to go wake him up. We're here, Jesus, we're right here, and we're waiting for you, again, we're waiting for you. But nobody wanted to wake him up because they knew that although they were on top, I, I assume they were on top of the boat, Jesus was underneath the boat, or they were um, in the boat and Jesus was behind them. Either way, it was a double-decker boat, like a bus, or double, or, or a single a boat, a single-layer boat, either way. Jesus was on the boat with them, right? But he was someplace completely different. And here's the thing. Could it be now that the 12 of us are trapped, right? Dying, possibly, on this one boat that Jesus, right, is testing us. And he wants to see, right, how we handle, how will the church handle it, right? If they can't see me right there sleeping on a cushion. Because I was right there. And the thing is, we were in the same boat, but we were two different places. Because you were in disturbance, you were in destruction, you were in distortion. Seeing your situation as a bad situation. Thinking that just because you are in the middle of the sea, you were in distortion, in disruption. In this placement, I was in peace. I was sleeping. I was the picture of where I would actually be in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years. I would be resting in peace. R.I.P. Yes, it means dead. But when I come in and I come in, I, but when I decided it coming a, a couple of, uh, about a month or so ago, that I won't walk in peace. It means death, but, but for me it means death to Jamie, where I was. It means death to what I was doing. It means death to um, how I was handling my life. It means death to my command. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't to transgression. It means death to thinking in my mind that I'm not enough. It means death to my command. Testifying to other people's testimony of me. Lois was the one that said I wasn't good enough and that I was stupid. Why would I testify to that? I am tired of testifying to Lois's description of me. God does not see me that way. And I may need my pastor to remind me every now and then. But right now, God does not see me that way. And I kind of thought about it because I said, this man has all these people. And he remembered. He remembered. Tell me. I need to hear you say it. Don't give up. Don't give up Philippians. Don't give up Philippians. Philippians 1 6. That's our thing. That's me and him. That's me and him. Y'all can't have it. That's me and him. That's, that's my thing with him. Ah! I love this. Andrea Barbara it. <laughs> she can Barbara it. I got a thing with Jesus. I got a thing with Jesus. 
And if I see Jesus, I'm disciple. I'm supposed to be following Jesus and doing Jesus. If I see Jesus speaking to peace, I'm sleeping to peace. Be rest in peace. Okay, come on, Jesus. You want to talk? Okay, I fold my arms on my chest like this. I came from a rough neighborhood. I don't mind saying it. How do I rest in peace, Jesus? Okay, you want to put my hands down? I'm on the, on the floor. So you want to lay on the bed in the tomb? I'm going to lay on the floor tomb. You want the bed tomb? I'm on the floor tomb. Should I get popcorn? <laughs> you want to watch TV? I don't know. I opt out of doing it like the church does, but I want to do it like Jesus does. I want to live like he lives. I want to die like he died. I want to be, be at peace in my storm. Because I live like he lives. I die like he died. I talk like he talks. I walk like he walks. Then when he is at peace, then the storm's still alive. Be at peace in the storm. But right? I was a smart woman. Kind of. She took my conjunctions from me. And she took the most important conjunction. She's a very, very smart woman. I was thinking about it a couple of minutes ago. She took if and and but, to, right? When we when she came at us, right, to say something, and we were not allowed, right, to uh, speak up and say, okay, this is why we did it, or right, to, um, because so it kind of it, it made it difficult because we could never speak, like we weren't allowed to speak. So she took away. She said, I don't care. I said that it was done, and it was done. There's no if and or but about it. She ruined the conjunction for me. And had no idea why she did. I never sat down and thought about it, right? She always said, I don't think. I just don't think like them. I think in color. I don't think in words. 